Hello, I'm Cara, and today we've got a five minute lying down yoga class. So when you're ready, come down onto your back. And we're going to begin by hugging your left knee into the chest. And just take a few breaths there, drawing the left knee in and also pressing the lower back down to the ground. So for some of you, the knee might be a bit further away. For some of you, it'll be a bit closer in towards your body. Good, nice deep breath in and out through your nose as you hold. And then we'll hold the back of the leg and start to straighten and bend the leg a few times just to the point that you start to feel some resistance on the back of your leg. And then the next time that you're straighten, you're going to hold there, really push the foot away up towards the sky, draw the toes back towards you. And then as you bend the knee, you're going to bring it wide of the ribs. You either take a hold of your shin, your lower leg, or maybe, if you can, you reach to the outside of your foot and you're going to have your arm to the inside of the knee if you can. Again, depending on proportions, it might be like that. For some of you, you might have to really bring the knee out wide. And just holding there, whether you're holding the shin or the outside of the foot. Think about the heel moving up towards the sky. You can actually push the heel up as you draw the foot or the leg down. Holding for a couple more deep breaths. And then we'll extend the right leg out straight, bring this left knee into the chest again, and we're going to bring the whole body over to the right hand side and then open the left arm back out to the side. And you might find your shoulders floating off the ground. That's okay. Maybe you could just keep the arm in if it feels too much pressure for the shoulder. For some of you, you'll be able to find the ground. Maybe the knee lifts a bit as well. And you can adjust how this twist works for your body. Just make it feel nice for your body and make it feel good. You might find your bottom leg starts to bend. Try and push it out towards straight. And then bring the left arm back over, roll back onto your back. Good, swapping over to the other side. So hugging the right knee into the chest. Again, think about lower back pressing down into the ground, just as you draw the knee in and focus on your breath, inhaling and exhaling through your nose. And again, we'll switch the grip. So you're holding the back of the leg and then moving to that straightening and bending. So taking a few repetitions to the point that you feel that resistance and you're moving in and out of it. And the next time you straighten, hold there pushing the foot up into the sky, drawing the toes back towards you. And then take your time to draw the knee back in, bring the knee wide of the ribs. And again, maybe you hold the shin. Maybe some of you are right up at the knee, that's fine. Maybe you hold the ankle or if you can, you take a grip to the outside of the foot. And as you hold here, you think heel up to the sky and you're pushing up with the leg. So you've got that resistance, you're drawing down as the leg is pushing up. Feel the shoulders relax to the ground if you can. Back of the neck long and loose. And just breathing into it. The other foot's pushing away. Good, and hold for one more deep breath. And then release the foot, bring the knee to the chest and then roll all the way over to your left hand side till that knee finds the ground. And then you can open the right arm back out to the side. 
Again, adjust so that this twist works for your body, so that it feels good for you. And then hold and relax. A few nice deep breaths. And then bring the right arm back over. Roll back onto your back. And then finishing off with your knees bent, feet to the ground and hands resting on your belly. And feel free to stay here for as long as you like relaxing. Good. If you enjoyed that and you want a slightly longer stretch, then I've got 10, 15 minute routines, even a 20 minute routine. And I've got nice relaxing ones lying down or more energetic ones. Hope you have a lovely, lovely day.